All right, so in this video, I'm going to discuss how we can graph the new daily treasury par yield curve rates. And this is because as of October 19, 2022, we now have a four month constant maturity series. So how we can go about doing this is first you would start off and go to treasury.gov, go to data, daily, Treasury Party Yield Curve Rates. And we're going to select the time period to be for the current month and apply. So we've got our data here. Go ahead and click inside uh, the address bar there and copy that website domain. Go to Excel. Go to Data. And then in the Get and Transform Data, click from Web. Just paste the URL there. Click on table one and click load. And I'll exit out of that. I'm going to delete this NA data. I'm also going to get rid of the 20 year dot one, just make it 20 year, and the 30 year dot one, just going to make it 30 year. Holding the control key, I'm going to highlight this, the latest one that you've got, or the bottom row, whatever that is for you, and then the, uh, the top from A1 to N1. And then what we're going to do is insert, go to a recommended chart, all charts. We'll do a scatter. Interesting. Change that. We'll do a line and that second option. I'll zoom into this. So this looks pretty good. My only recommendation would be we want this to start at the origin. So what I'm going to do here is click inside that and then right click format axis and I'm going to let the minimum be zero and then that looks a lot better so at least for mine as of number 4 2024 it's basically a flat yield curve and then I'll call this uh, daily or US yield curve and there you have it and note here you know you can do this for other types of uh, rates, right? So you, th that was just for treasury par yield curves. You could do that for the real yield curve. Um, similar type thing here. The only thing with this is that obviously it, it's, it's, it's a long-term uh, solution there. Uh, you've got bill rates you could look at, which this is going to be obviously with uh, under a year and then this one will be a little more difficult because you got the bank and the coupon equivalent uh, and you've got let's say what else got the long term and then the par rail you can do this for time frames going back all the way to 2003 and do all so what that would do just for curiosity so that would be that let's we'll see about going back to the data we were looking at how far back you could go so this one it goes back to 1990 so there's all that data there